Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can implement this Google autocomplete field in your HTML page. So before I explain this, let me give you the demonstration. So here is this input field and whenever you type anything here, let us say any address in Australia, 35 Collins Street, Melbourne. And as you can see, it is automatically showing all these suggestions and it is saying powered by Google. That means it is fetching data from Google servers. So I'm going to tell you how you can implement this in your web page. And also after selecting any of this address, you will notice that it is updating this thing as well. Like in city uh, text box, Melbourne is set. Then state it is Victoria postal code 3000 so whatever address you select here that will change based upon that selection so I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can do this using this uh, Google autocomplete now here are the steps that you need to take if you want to implement that thing so first thing that you need to do is you need to get the API key from the Google developer account so you have to go to the console.google.com and then get the api key so you need to enable the uh, two apis basically so google places api that you need to enable and then maps javascript api so these two apis you need to enable after that apis are enabled you will get this API key and you may also want to restrict this API key to be used from certain IP address or certain domains so once that is done once API key is there then you can use that API key when loading the library also note that you will need to enable the billing account as well in the Google developer account so first step is load Google Places library from Maps API. So here you can see it is simple HTML page and this is where we are loading that library, Google library. Maps.googleapis.com maps slash api slash js and there you have to give the key. So this API key, whatever API key you want to put so you can get the API key as I said from the developer account console.google.com that website you can get that API key and another parameter we are passing here is this thing callback init autocomplete so what happens is once this script is downloaded JavaScript is downloaded this particular function will get called that's why it is callback uh, it's called as callback so as soon as this JavaScript is loaded in the page, this particular function will be called. So this function is actually user-defined function. The custom function that we have written, I will uh, get to that in a minute. So what is happening here is just downloading the JavaScript, Google JavaScript library in our page. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is CSS. So you can, this is optional if you want to display the page like with style then you can add the CSS otherwise it is optional next step is add an input element on the page so this is the most important step that you need to do so it is a simple HTML element that you need to add so here you can see there is simple form and we have got one input field and its name is or ID is ship address so it's very uh, simple basic input element HTML element and we have given one ID to that particular element, the ID attribute. And what's happening is, after this JavaScript is loaded, that is in the first step, what we are doing is, we are calling this init autocomplete function. So we have defined that here. So if you look init autocomplete, so this is the function that we have defined. And what's happening here is that, this address one field, you can see, that is being attached to this autocomplete instance 
so autocomplete is equal to new google dot maps dot places dot autocomplete and then the first parameter for this autocomplete is address one field that is the input field on which uh, you can enter the address and then list of suggestions will be displayed so that is the address one field you can see that it is mapped to the ship address and the second parameter for this autocomplete is it takes an object here you can tell what kind of restrictions you want to put onto the suggestions for example if you want to give the suggestions for specific uh, country addresses for example Australia then you can put AU if you want to get the addresses from specific country or uh, let us say India or US then you can put iron or US so on and so forth so you can give the country restrictions and there are a lot of other restrictions that you can give so country is just one of them then fields thing tells what kind of data should be returned so it is saying that address components and geometry should be returned and then in the types it is saying that added should be returned here again there are different combinations that you can put like depending upon your use, use case you can get specific uh, details like city or state so on and so forth so in this case we want we are interested in full address so we have put their types as address and then we are focusing on that input field or the address field and then this is another very important step that you need to do here so we are adding the listener on this input box so what's happening here is as soon as the place changed event is called this fill in address this particular function is getting called so once user selects any of the addresses you want to do something right so that is what's happening here in this particular uh, line of statement so once this place change event is called or it's trigger this particular function will be called so here you can write any custom you know, function and whatever code you want to write you can write it here so initialize the input element that we have seen and finally call js function on place change event so just we have seen how we can do that so just add this line and then this um, function basically you can write your own custom function so in here what uh, we are doing is we are calling this autocomplete.getPlace method and then it will return that details of that place that user has selected and place is basically a complicated object and from that you can retrieve the data for example it's basically an array of address components and we are just iterating over that and once uh, what we are doing here is we are switching the component type so component type basically tells uh, the part of the address for example street number then route postal code postal code suffix locality for example suburb so based upon that address com uh, type component type it is uh, like detecting the specific part of the address and then it is just setting it in the form that's it so as soon as you uh, put any address here so you will see that right now state and this postal code is empty but as soon as you select it that will be populated with the actual uh, address that we selected so as you can see 3006 victoria Docklands. so based upon your uh, logic or whatever you need the custom uh, thing that you want to do you can do it on this particular function so this one on this place change event you can call any function and then you can use this get place method on this input box to retrieve the data that's it that's how you can implement this uh, Google autocomplete address thing in your web pages. Thanks for watching this video.